Dang it, man. I haven't talked to my friends in God knows how long. Oh, snap. There y'all go. What's up? What's the deal? What is the deal, everybody? Look, man. Look, I've been looking for y'all. Y'all ain't been looking for me. I've been looking for y'all. I've been looking for y'all just to tell y'all. I almost got everything for the V. I almost got everything for the V. So look, here's the deal. So look, I ordered the motor. Yes, I ordered the motor. The motor will be here next month. I think it'll be here next month. I talked to the people yesterday. They said it's uh, three weeks out or whatever, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So it should be here probably in the middle of February. But look, as you guys can see, it is freaking snow out here. Like it is snow everywhere. So we just had a snowstorm. Uh, like four days ago we just had a snowstorm about four days ago so look like i said talk to the people or whatever they said it's going to be here uh in three three to four weeks or whatever so hold up let me okay y'all mm, you guys see me all right we're good all right so look in the middle of february we should be getting the motor but right now i have a whole bunch of crap that just came in I just took it in the house because it's freaking cold outside and then some of the stuff you don't want to get wet because there's a lot of electronics and everything. So look, we're about to go in my house. We're about to go in the house, sit in the living room. My living room is filled with crap. So look, we just got, uh, I'll just show you guys when we get in. So let's go. All right, so look, man, this living room is freaking full, like freaking full, man. Paperwork over there, don't mind that. So look, whoo, Jesus Christ, let's go. So look. First and foremost, let's get this out the way real fast because this is not what you guys came for. Uh, on the side, I do detailing and everything. So look, we got a. Uh, let me sit down on the couch. Yeah. We got a uh, microfiber pads. Uh oh, come on, come on, come on. Microfiber pads. Microfiber pads. I got microfiber pads for freaking days. That's all I got is freaking microfiber pads for days. Then I got some new tiles and everything like that or whatever. Uh, so what's this? What's this? What's this? Okay, right here. Let me see if I can make this brief. So, right here. Hold up. Focus. Focus. Hold up. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, so look. This right here is a... I'm working with one hand. Please don't mind me. This is a... <laughs> this is a back and play for, uh, for my new polisher. Uh, best friend of mine, he... Uh, he uh, details as well. He told me to grab this because uh, it actually makes the polisher spin a lot faster. And it's a, it's, it, it gives you a cleaner cut, well, a faster cut. Uh, so this back and plate, it, it literally weighs like next to nothing. Like it's literally nothing, bro. All right, so look, we done with that crap. But look at this crap here. All right, let's move this crap out the way. So we got a U-Haul box right here. This is what it came in. Oh, man, let me show you guys. I got to make sure I show you guys the other box. <laughs> uh, so um, I think it's a couple things new. A couple things new and the rest are like used or whatever. No, it's uh, everything is new and then it's a couple things that's used. There we go. So look, let's start with the big box first because I like my cake. And I like to eat it too. So look what we got here, baby. Look what we got. Oh, so these are used, but these are some nice used freaking wheels. So yeah, just to show you guys that I'm not playing any games this year. So we got uh, 17 by 10 and a half CCWs, a two piece forged wheel. Uh, shit, these things, they weigh less, they weigh less than nothing either. Like I think, uh, I think these things are what? like. 10? Nah, they weigh more than 10. Uh, probably like 15 pounds. Well, yeah, 17, 17 by 10 or 17 by 10 and a half or something like that. But these were always, like ever since I was, ever since I was in like the Honda game, it was like, dude, I gotta have these type of wheels for my Honda. I couldn't afford them at the time. I think, shit, at the time, when I had my Honda going, I think I worked at Myers. <laughs> well, a lot of you guys don't know what Myers is. So Myers is like uh, Walmart. Myers is just like Walmart, but I couldn't afford these wheels on a Meyer salary. So, and I finally got my dream set of wheels. So yeah, I cannot wait to bolt these on. I want to see how these look with the stock front tires on, given that they're, you know, they're, they are black, but they're not black. I can't really say, and they're dirty. So I can't, first and foremost, I can't wait to clean them up and then put them on the car. But man, 
these are like my favorite freaking wheels just to show you guys uh, yep two-piece wheel so they're bolted on in the back so the rim come as one piece in the face of the the face of the wheel my bad the wheel the face of the wheel comes in its own part so you can take that off or whatever whatever the case may be that you need to take it off but <laughs> Yep, so we got two 17 by 10, 17 by 10 and a half. I, I, I have to go back and look or whatever. But so, like, this is this is why I love the friends that I have. Like, a lot of, a lot of my friends want to see me win. Okay, so a buddy of mine, we've been, we've been talking. We've been talking, to be honest with you, and we never met. But we have been talking ever since, uh... We have been talking ever since 2012, I think, and we just never lost contact through Facebook. Some Facebook friends are actually good friends. And this guy, he knew what I was trying to do, and he said, look, bro, I'm gonna try to do something for you, and we gonna, we gonna, uh, we gonna see how it works, and then we just gonna go from there. So hopefully, hopefully uh, after everything gets set up, hopefully after everything gets set up, he can actually put this on the market because I man like this shit is clean right here. Okay, so look. Okay, so he didn't do this. This right here. This right here is my flex fuel kit. So we have the steel braided line go under the hood uh, to the quick connect. So that connects to the fuel line. It's all loose right now or whatever. Blah 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 blah. But this is just some crap that I uh, that I got off the internet. But what he did for me right here. Look at this clean setup right here. So. A lot of you guys know a lot of you guys don't but for the ones who don't know this right here give me one second this right here is a fuel pump <laughs> so what he did for me was he uh hold up uh, come on focus focus come on you gotta focus for me there we go so this right here is a fuel pump it's an inline fuel pump so you have your regular so you have your regular fuel pumps and then you have a what you call a auxiliary pump so this pump it goes straight into it goes straight into your stock fuel tank you have to you have to cut a hole in your fuel tank yes you do you have to cut a hole in your fuel tank and then you have to you have to um plumb it from the bottom of your fuel tank and run it on the line of the, run it on the side of the car in line with the fuel with the fuel rail for your fuel system if you get what i'm saying so we have a huge fuel pump like my hands are actually pretty big and just to show you guys how big this fuel pump is it's, it's almost taking up my whole hand but so he ended up grabbing some he ended up getting me some um some plumbing line or whatever i guess this goes under the hood all of these bits go under the hood uh come on get out of there but yeah man he he actually put all the he put all the uh the fittings on the end of the lines and everything like that. And then he actually he did all of this himself. Like the resistors, the the connectors, all of that he did himself. He he did all of this himself, man. And I I mean I, I did have to pay a little bit, but <laughs> he made sure that it looked clean and it, it is basically done right. So once I get this on my car and um once that you know the motor goes in and then we get uh we get the dyno and everything like that we'll see how it runs with everything on it hopefully it makes a good amount of power and hopefully i can get him because he said all he said was we're just gonna see how it works on your car and if it works good i'll actually start putting it out and he's actually gonna put it out for a really cheap price too because like uh so like with our ctsvs I'm trying to be quick with our CTSVs, um, um, uh, a setup like this cost over a uh, thousand plus. Um, you have some companies, I think it's one company, literally one company that, that offers this type of setup for like 800 bucks. And that's, that's, that's fairly expensive for a fuel system. Like, dude, this, this whole, this whole situation can get very, very expensive. Like, uh, <laughs> A throttle body, like a throttle body, a literal throttle body costs a thousand dollars. You get what I'm saying? Like it's it's a lot of stuff that costs a lot of money. Oh, here we go. Before we uh before we get anywhere, let me move this to the side. So I bought this from a private owner. Uh so yeah, he gave me a uh 
he gave me a box of baby wipes. I mean, a box of uh, diapers for, you know, the losers, freaking losers who uh, who going to shit on themselves when they lose these races this year because I'm calling out everybody. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a make this known right here. Look, I'm going to make this known. I'm calling out every single YouTuber that so-called is a car guy. I'm calling out everybody. I'm calling out. I'm not going to tell you who I'm calling out right now. I'm going to make a video as soon as I get my as soon as I get my short block in. As soon as my short block comes in, I'm writing every single one of your favorite YouTubers name on that freaking on that freaking uh, short block. It's eight. It's eight pistons in there. So eight good names is going on there. And I plan on racing every single one of them this year. Let's see what they really made of all of these so-called car guys on YouTube and everything like that. But look at this. <laughs> Oh man, this is my first time opening this. By the way, I, it, it everything just came in, but this this particular one just came in today, like today, today, right before I uh, started the video. I went outside and picked this up and brought it inside. But uh, look at this big freaking behemoth! Oh, I can't even grip my hand around it. This right here, everybody. <laughs> This right here is an RPM intake, dude. Like, dude, it is a five inch intake. My hand is literally, you can see how big it is. Just, dude, this is ridiculous. This thing is ridiculous. And then in here is, um, it's a uh, K&N filter, but skip the K&N filter because it's, well, in the picture it looked like trash. So I actually have a, um, actually have what they call a green filter. The green filter actually, it actually, it flows better than a um, than a can in or whatever. And a lot of people, a lot of LS people, I think Ford people too. I think they're going with the um, I think they're going with the green filter now. But look at these monsters right here. Woo! So right here is my drag setup. I can't have wheels without having tires. So these right here are, uh oh, come on, spin it around, spin it around. There we go, spin it around. Whew, these some fatties, 325, 45, 17. Now you guys might be saying like, oh, that might be a, that might be kind of fat for the V. Well, look, that particular tire, this particular tire right here. So about this tire. Oh, and just just my, these are actually new tires. They're just dusty, but these particular tires. Um, they fit just like a, a 305 Mickey Thompson. They might be just a tad bit wider, but given that I am on stock suspension, I am not lowered at all. These should actually tuck right under there pretty good. So I, I, these, these right here, these aren't like the same quality as the Mickey Thompson, but these should give me a good, a good amount of grab for like, uh, for highway rolls and such like that or whatever so yeah i'm not even i'm not even a roll guy like i would tell anybody to go to freaking dunkin donuts or something like that if they wanted to roll like because i'm not a roll guy i'm all dig I, i'm a driver like if you if you want to do a roll race to me that's just a horsepower game like if you got more horsepower than me you you could win or whatever but when you digging it takes a driver to dig like you have to be able to have your reaction time on pack you have to be able to put your get your car off the line on on point like because you can spin off the line you could actually uh you can actually launch in reverse <laughs> you can actually launch in reverse if you're not paying attention man but yeah so look that's that's basically it so we got the tires we got the wheels uh, come on come on down we got the wheels we got the intake we got the detailing products oh yeah so yeah detailing products so yeah we got more pads oh yeah and i just bought this um this machine right here uh this is called the vapor max vapor max desidario this machine right here i ended up breaking it like soon as i got it a uh, freaking horrible it fell out my truck but yeah this machine right here is i think it's uh 1200 bucks so this machine, it uh, it uh, injects water, it steams, and it's a vacuum all at the same time. And there aren't any, there aren't that many machines that actually do all three at the same time. And that's one of the reasons why I got it. And the suction power on this damn machine is retarded. Like, dude, the 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 suction and the steam, the steam on this car, I mean on this uh, <laughs> on this car, the steam on this machine is beyond ridiculous like this little tiny machine pushes out so much freaking steam but yeah that's it like 
uh, if you guys want to look it up, it's called the Vapor Max Desiderio. If you guys are um, getting into detailing or are into detailing and, and you are like mobile, that is a good machine to have. Like that is a good money maker. If you guys like doing interiors, I really don't like doing interiors. I love polishing cars. So and uh, it's a lot of people here in Detroit that loves to to do interiors and they say that like they're be they're the best detailer. Woo -woo. Look, get your money up and grab one of these. It's only twelve hundred bucks, man. Probably the best twelve hundred bucks you'll ever spend. Like you will make that back in a month. I promise you. Oh, excuse me. So look, we got one more detailing product, and I'm just gonna end it after this. So got a got a little thing at Adams. This is called the Swirl Killer. Not just any Swirl Killer. This is a micro swirl killer. So look, this is a polisher. This is a, a battery operated polisher. Uh, and it is, it's a random orbit polisher, but it takes a one inch pad. So this is for like, um, if you have those cars with like those fancy curves on them, crazy body lines where it's literally like an inch or an inch and a half of space in your five or six inch polisher can't get in this will work wonders i haven't used it yet it's still brand new like everything is still in the bag everything is still in this spot i have not touched it i got this for christmas this was probably like the only thing i got myself for christmas but it's about to be christmas all year because i'm about to be handing people diapers <laughs> because they're gonna be some little babies when they start crying after they get whooped so look i'm gonna uh, meet you guys back outside and then we're gonna end it from there so bah! Caddy, 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 and caddy. So look, you guys, look. <laughs> okay. <sighs> all in all, man, I just want you guys to know, like, it's not life getting in the way right now. I'm literally working overtime. I'm working crazy overtime right now. I'm trying to get everything in place because I have a vision and the only way I can get my vision to come true is if I actually work hard to do it. So look, man, this 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 short block was not it was not cheap at all, man. These the the cylinder heads, I, I'm I still have to save for the cylinder heads. Like I'm literally I'm I'm behind, but I'm not behind because it's snowing outside. You get what I'm saying? In my mind, in my mind for everything that I want, I'm behind. But one thing you guys have to remember, look everything cannot come at one time you get what i'm saying you cannot get everything at one time sometimes you can but in certain instances you really can't and like sometimes you have to literally have that in your head you know because everything sometimes it just doesn't come at that point in time that you want it everything comes when it comes and you have to make sure you keep in your head that when it get here you're going to be ready you get what i'm saying so it's like a lot of people like literally a lot of people here and that's why I, I don't really give them that much attention it's a lot of people here that really don't want to see me or see it get where it needs to be and i'm i'm literally i'm grinding my butt off i'm literally grinding my butt off and and that that goes for you guys too man if you guys are doing something in your life and you know you want something look you better grind your ass off for it for real you better grind your ass off for it man if look if you guys want to do YouTube, if you guys want to be a doctor, if you guys want to be a lawyer, if you guys want to be a race car driver, stunt driver, it don't matter. But always remember, always, please always remember, look, always have that confidence that you're the best. Always have that confidence you, that you're the best. And always, always, always have that confidence, have that, have that, that pride to know that you can always do better. Like, even if I feel that I gave myself 110%, I feel like I could have done 120. You get what I'm saying? Because that's, that's going to always keep me to try to go up. You get what I'm saying? So, make sure you guys... Hold up. Let me see something. Hold up. Make sure we was recording. <laughs> make sure you guys... Look. Make sure you guys... Basically, my name stay relentless dude you have to always stay persistent stay stay persistent and the bad side of being relentless is always being heartless like just be cold with it you gotta always you gotta be fearless you gotta be cold you gotta be persistent like if you know it's something that you want to do don't let nobody get in your way don't let nobody get in your way out here look everybody gonna have their opinion about anything as long as it make you as long as it make you feel good about yourself at the what you do that's all that matters. You get what I'm saying? Look, I, I'm not condoning nothing bad, but look, bro, do what you got to do. 
do what you got to do. Don't don't do shit bad. Like I'm I'm working my butt off for this car. You get what I'm saying? It's paid off. And that's that's one of the main things that I that that I accomplished. That was the main that was like the biggest accomplishment. Once I got that car paid off, it was <laughs> It was basically cakewalk, so all I pay is insurance on it. The truck is paid off too, man. So it's like, next thing next thing after this, besides uh, getting the car running, is getting another house. I gotta get a house with a garage. I, I gotta get everything in place. But the only thing, the only way I'm gonna be able to do it is if I grind for it. So look, with that being said, everybody, if you guys like this video, man, please like, please subscribe, and please hit that notification bell, man. We getting back, we getting back to it, man. But like I said, I'm working overtime right now, and it's, it's cold outside. Uh, we got a couple car shows coming up. My bad. Inside car shows coming up. So I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna make sure we get we get to them car shows. I'm gonna make sure we get to anything that's popping off with some cars, man. I love this shit, man. I love it. Like from the bottom of my heart, I love it, man. And don't let anybody, don't let anybody stop you from doing what you want to do, man. Easy. Thank you.